Only all men can stand adversity. But if you want to test a man's character, give him power. Ah, the 2020s, a terrible time in recent memory, because we all can't remember much past the two year mark, because we all have the attention span of goldfish now. Zima, hula hoops, and Pac Man video games. Don't you see? People today have attention spans that can only be measured in nanoseconds. But all kidding aside, 2022 is hot wet garbage. You know, I think ever since you've come into office, things are really looking up. You know, gas is up, rent is up, food is up, <laughs> everything. <laughs> in spite of all that, the Elden meme lord has been crowned, Elon Musk. On the 21st of April, he secured enough funding to take over Twitter. On the same day, CNN Plus was canceled. Hundreds of millions of dollars were spent to only get 100K subscribers. <laughs> Brilliant money management. And people sit here and bitch about Elon Musk buying Twitter. What about all the money they wasted on CNN Plus that they knew was going nowhere? The very next day, a Colorado man set himself on fire outside of the Supreme Court and died. Now you might be thinking, what does this have to do with anything? Well, nothing. I'm just letting you know that everything is back crazy right now, just in case you forgot. Gas is up, rent is up, food is up. With the Musk buying Twitter, a million progressive voices cried out in terror, and then were suddenly silenced. Well, not really. Well, it looks like Twitter's gone. They accepted the money and Elon Stalin is taking over. So fuck you, Twitter, and goodbye forever, you insane Q-like forum. Or soon to be insane like Q-like forum. Peace out. Bye. That's what I think of it. Elon Musk. Bad bitch. They're all claiming that they'll leave Twitter. Yeah, sure. They'll leave Twitter. Just like you were going to leave the country when Donald Trump got elected. I mean, Talcum X left for what, 24 hours at best? Now, don't get me wrong. Do I think Twitter will get better? In all honesty, I don't know. Maybe. I don't expect much. So, I can't be disappointed. I feel like Ivan Drago. If Twitter dies, he dies. It really all started with Musk coming to Twitter. And he was all like... I'll buy this bag of shit off you for $41 billion. And the Twitter board members that own little to no stock were like, no, you can't have Twitter because you're a bigot. So Elon was like, okay, okay, I'll give you $46.5 billion for this bag of cat vomit you call a website. And the rest is history. <laughs> now, most people started bitching. Oh, he spent all that money. Well, he only spent $21 billion of his own money. The other $25.5 billion came from Morgan Stanley and other financial institutions. I also believe that Stanley had a decent amount of investment in Twitter already. So, there's that. Progressive Twitter had an absolute meltdown. Everyone else outside of the Twitter sphere didn't really give a single flip about this. Like for the dude working at Amazon right now, listening to this, do you care? Hell no! In response to the new bigoted Twitter of Christmas, future, and past, Vice wrote an article about how to delete your Twitter account. Let me save you some time, okay? Go to the settings button, right? And as soon as you click that, you'll see right on the right hand side of your browser on desktop, click deactivate your account. He came in like a knight in shining armor and saved my life. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. How do you get an entire article out of that? It's two steps. Maybe people really do need a tutorial for everything in life, which would explain why TikTok is so popular. How to get over an X. How to eat soup. And if you think I'm joking, these are actually tags. Let us now hear the Twitter brainlets cry out in unison with hate, venom, and vitriol. I'd give anything to be the one that gets 
shoot Elon Musk in his looking head. Daily reminder that billionaires should not exist. Well, time to kill Elon Musk. And of course, the person has a trans flag in their bio. Some fellow comrades are having their villain origin story today and will either become hitmans and try to murder Elon Musk for buying our app or worse, become rich and buy it back. Really? That's the take? Killing a person's bad, but becoming rich enough to buy Twitter for a few billion dollars is even worse than being a murderer. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. God, I want to kill Elon Musk. Musty ass bitch. Will someone please kill Elon Musk? It would be cool to murder Elon Musk by pouring molten gold on his gigantic, stupid, rich boy head. All Games of Thrones and shit. Quack. That mother Quack. needs to be killed. Elon Musk. Isn't it sad that people talk about a form of torture that was actually quite popular in the medieval ages? It was China that did that. Where, like, they would take a man and they pour molten silver in his ears eye socket and throat but this person watched game of thrones so what do you need history for am i right i want to murder elon musk let's buy twitter for 41 billion dollars instead of doing any good with the money man crazy to think that he could do that while 14,000 people are going to be sleeping in their cars tonight in la alone well what are you doing j69 days clean 69 days clean that basically means you've already screwed up your life. You have no room to tell anyone else to do jack shit. You couldn't even live your life without becoming a junkie. Because this is what we spend our time on. No need for anyone to do anything. Someone should kill Elon Musk, by the way. Have I mentioned that before? He's a retarded ass. Yes, the person who is unironically a filthy weeb and an anime avatar. You have balls to call anyone else retarded. I want to kill Elon Musk. Eat the rich! You couldn't afford the calories. Guess since free speech and all I could say I want to murder Elon Musk. It's free speech, bro. I'm going to kill Elon Musk. There's so many people that just have so much hatred in their miserable little hearts. That is actually surprising. The only thing you're going to do later is kill your brain cells, little mister. I will kill Elon Musk. No, you won't. I absolutely hate this. But a chance to shoot Elon Musk would be tempting. Oh my god, really? The words interchangeability echoes the masses of Thus Spoke Zarathustra. They are also aware that they are numbing the chronic meaninglessness of their lives with hedonistic consumption. Greater men, such as Zarathustra himself, or those who take action and create, are secretly envied but publicly ridiculed. People end up conforming to the mediocrity of their neighbors, either because they fear the public shaming or are just outright lazy, which applies to most men. This exemplifies Nietzsche's idea of slave morality, which entails a mindset of obedience, patience and humility. The result is postmodern society as we know it, which preaches weakness and pacifism as virtues and elevates victimhood to sainthood. The weak despise the strong and therefore start to attack their achievements with vitriolic slander. The masses eradicate individualism from within and turn Western civilization into an egalitarian and declining nightmare. God, please, someone kill Elon Musk. I don't want to go back to Tumblr, please, guys. They need to go back to where they came. You know what? I have a hot take. Segregate Tumblr users now. <laughs> Build that wall. Build that wall. If Trump came back in 2024 and he was like, we're going to build a wall to keep the Tumblr users away from the rest of functioning America, I would chant and wear red proudly. Trump's America now, boy. It sure is. I'm not joking. Tumblr really did ruin Twitter. It used to be cool. It should be legal to kill Elon Musk. And they have a trans flag. Why are there so many people with trans, trans flags? so flippantly ready to talk about murdering someone but if you misgender them they act like you killed their entire family how can you expect human decency when you have none of your own can someone kill elon musk already oh god i'm going to murder elon musk with a knife it's time for me to go to bed now but before i do i'm going to exercise my free speech and say murder elon musk murder 
him now, murder him in his face, murder him to death, it will make the world a better place. Well, wimplist, whatever the hell your name is, Cinnabite, Elon Musk has pretty much been the spearhead of electric cars that will lead to greener emissions in the future. And I'm pretty sure it's just the beginning before we start getting hydrogen powered vehicles that will also operate as like a hybrid with electric, a reality. What the f have you done, you little sh snack? Nothing. What will you do? Nothing. What will you contribute? Nothing. 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 We have to kill Elon Musk. Oh God, the K-pop stands are now in the mix. I hope Musk comes for them too. Daddy Musk, please let me lead your Gestapo. I will hunt the K-pop stands like the dogs they are. <laughs> I would absolutely kill Elon Musk or any famous person just to etch my name into history. I don't care about throwing my life away if people are going to know who I am. You little bitch! Get out of here, bitch! Oh, no! And people are trying to argue that Twitter is okay now. This is literally, what's the name of the dude who shot John Lennon? I don't even know his name, he's garbage. We've basically got an entire website full of Mark David Chapmans. But instead of Twitter keeping an eye on little freaks like this, they spent their time banning anyone who decided they didn't want to get a vaccine and was very vocal about it. That's where all the energy went. This is Mark David Chapman 2.0 waiting to happen and nothing will be done. And then when this person does kill somebody, I hope they use my video in court. And then I'll say, death penalty! Who's going to kill Elon Musk? Okay, that's enough of that. There's literally, and I'm not joking, pages of this. I talked to Data Racer and I was like, Data Racer, you gotta see this crazy stuff people are saying about Elon Musk. When the class revolution is happening and I get to kill Elon Musk, I will kill Elon Musk. I am expressing intention to cause physical harm to him. And you can hold me legally accountable for the statement. That person is tweaked in the head. Who's going to kill Elon Musk? Hands up. And then they put up a photo of someone holding a gun on Elon Musk while he's out in New York City. All of these kill Elon Musk tweets have something in common. They are the musings you'd expect from a petulant child, angry at their powerlessness. So they shout, I'll kill you, as they tantrum off to their room. Oh, excuse me. I mean, they their rooms or Zizur room. The fact we have adults acting as children over something as meaningless as Twitter being bought out by someone they don't like or were instructed not to like is a damning sign of our future as a country. Remember, these people are allowed to vote and make decisions with all the emotional maturity of a nine-year-old. Or these are all bots that will soon be taken care of and won't be a problem under Lord Musk. One thing is for certain, when Musk does own Twitter, the tolerant left quotation marks will do hateful sh to try and force his hand on the site. And then the second that he is forced to take control or censor stupidity, they will start shouting, see, see, he doesn't believe in free speech. Knowing damn well, Twitter banned people for so much less before Musk. Hell, I got banned for saying gas the weebs. I heard you could get banned for doing it, so I did it. And it was Drew, you could. He's a monster. On April 22nd, a DM between Elon Musk and Bill Gates was leaked. Bill Gates, 720 on Wednesday to be clear, great. Just landed, cool. Do you still have half a billion dollars short position against Tesla? Sorry to say I haven't closed it out. I would like to discuss philanthropy, <laughs> philanthropy possibilities. Sorry, but I can't take your philanthropy on climate change seriously when you have a massive short position against Tesla, the company doing the most to solve climate change. And then Elon Musk followed up by, in case you need to lose a boner fast, the pregnant emoji put next to Bill Gates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the part of the program which is always my favorite because it means something. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Spending time on the internet has taught me one thing. Danger is around every corner. 
There are multiple entities looking to steal your information or track your every move while you're searching the web looking for rare Gundam model kits. Hey, don't judge me. But while you're enjoying the interwebs, Big Daddy Tech is tracking your every move and selling your information or putting you on an FBI watch list, you filthy little degenerates. You can also use this on your PC, phone, and gaming consoles. If only you could VPN your ex-girlfriends. Surfshark even goes the extra mile by writing a blog that explains to you how you can even save money on airline tickets using a VPN. This is crazy. I didn't know you could do this. Let's not forget, you could use Surfshark to watch region lock content. Wink, wink. Click the link in the description or use the code It's a Gundam to find out how you could save 83% and get three months off for free. And guess what? If you don't like it, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. You can't lose. On April 25th, Twitter was officially sold to Elon Musk. I didn't think they would let it go, but I'm glad they did. God damn it! The salt must flow, and I need to get my jolly somewhere, baby. Elon Musk just wasted $44 billion instead of using that money for something useful, like feeding the hungry, housing the homeless, or caring for the sick. Do you not understand the difference between an investment and an expense? Explain how housing and feeding the hungry aren't investments. I was accosted by a homeless woman outside of a courthouse demanding milk. Doing the people. Woo! Somebody! Oh, he God. needs some milk. And I had no cash on me. I'm 100% sure even if I gave her $100, it wouldn't change her fortunes. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being real. Take a minute and think about what that mother could have done with 44 billion, but no, Mr. Inflated Ego has to buy one of the worst social media platforms for a flexing, I guess. Nick Johnson looks like a girl. Perfect timing. This might be the last time I could say this. Elon Musk sucks. 500 likes. And then the person replied themselves and retweeted their tweet again. Too chill. Is this not a cry for attention? Come on, guys, let's blow this up. Elon Musk is a whiny bitch. Says the person doing something a whiny bitch would do. Interesting. The lack of self-awareness is DSP level. This is something that I, I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. Fuck Elon Musk. Oh my God, you're so brave. Which is a better use of Elon Musk's 43 billion? Well, only 21 billion was his money. End world hunger, buy Twitter. Everybody voted buy Twitter. Elon Musk, buying Twitter, ending world hunger. Break it down for us, Patricia. Seems you have a sustainable plan mapped out that could be accomplished for a small cost of 44 billion. By the way, the US government spent 6.82 trillion, 155 times what Twitter's price sell was in 2021. Why didn't our benevolent leaders choose to end world hunger? Oh, whoa, whoa, Jones Jr., you sound like a bigot. We're doomed. And then the person puts an AMV video of Arcane, which was a good show, but they really went out of their way to make Vi look like a hardcore diesel. <laughs> like, for real, can I say <laughs> you? You're not even sure yourself. I'm not sure. Mark Zuckerberg made Facebook to be cool and make friends. Elon Musk bought Twitter to be cool and make friends, yet both still have no friends. Boom. Roasted. Jamaica is in debt for 14 billion US. Elon Musk paid 44 billion for an invisible company just to make it fun again. That is how much good he's doing for humanity. No! The whole Elon Musk could have used the money he spent on Twitter to solve world hunger and homelessness argument that the progs are beating half to death with a stick. On the other hand, the Biden administration just asked Congress to send another $33 billion to the Ukraine. Notice how nobody here is screaming about how that money could have ended homelessness in America. And they're spending our money to do it. Elon Musk didn't come to my house and steal my cash to buy Twitter. I don't give a damn what he does with his money. But people on Twitter turn a blind eye to the administration leading us right into a recession. Fit for a third world country. We're well on our way to becoming Venezuela if this moronicism keeps up. And it's nothing personal against the Ukraine. But the level of problems we have in America is, is not a joke. It's real. But it's like we have a blind eye. Say things changed. 
people shooting up, urinating out in the open, vomiting. Officials here last counted more than 66,000 experiencing homelessness in January 2020. But that was before the pandemic struck. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. Detroit, uh, whatever. Kensington literally looks like a scene from Fallout 4. Eh, whatever. California is turning into the Hobo Palace. Hmm. Elon Musk should have did something about it. Blue check marks also weighed in with talking points fit for a blue check mark. It's almost as if they're all reading from a script because nobody deviates from the current narrative. What happens when an overt white supremacist billionaire takes over Twitter? The racism, homophobia, transphobia, man <laughs> misogyny, and misinformation, which are already a problem on the platform, will be completely unleashed. RIP Twitter, free speech protected by the musketeer. Free speech on Twitter will mean 99% of troll accounts spouting off racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, hate speech, and mis slash disinformation. So basically nothing changes. Well, at least he ended it with nothing changes because disinformation is already a pillar on Twitter. Homophobia, I haven't seen much of it. Transphobia, you dare say something bad about trans people and see what happens to you on Twitter. Hell, you could say something like, I don't think trans women should compete with regular women in sports. You're transphobic now. It's just that simple. If you say you don't want to date a trans person on Twitter, guess what? That's a alt-right dog whistle. You're in trouble. He's a monster. Elon Musk's record at Tesla is inspiring, especially on the institutional racism score. How does the Twitter board intend to protect it from being transformed into a white wing, far right, racist front? Here's the basis of our greatest concerns. So Twitter is serving us up on an emerald platter and we are on the precipice of even more racism, transformia, and general abuse while you decide what you what to do install block party app. Okay, so base Whatever. Just anything these people say. It's so easy to be transphobic now. It's not even funny. It's so easy. You just say something that was literally normal two years ago and you're a transphobe. Racism? Everybody accuses you of racism. I'm told that I hate white people. I'm told I hate black people. The Asians have left me alone recently. <laughs> And if you turn the volume all the way down, his mouth will move without playing the voice clip. So you can make Optimus say whatever you want. It's time to contain the China virus. <laughs> it doesn't take anything to be far right either. If you sit there and go, I don't think people should be discussing sexuality with kindergartners. Guess what? You're far right. Protecting our democracy is the utmost importance, especially as the midterm elections approach, Mr. Musk's lives are at risk, and so is the American democracy. Whose lives are at risk from Elon Musk owning Twitter? I'd like to know, because I recall Twitter was helping Arab nations find, and I quote, dissidents. You didn't have a problem with that. Get <laughs> him out of here. Hmm? Get him out of here! Get the f out of my room! But God forbid someone posts some memes you don't like. Uh-oh, the democracy's falling. The, the Huns are at the door. Elon Musk buying Twitter is a dream come true for white nationalists. I didn't know I was a white nationalist. After all, Musk is the former apartheid country of South Africa, which the right supremacists idolize. Elon Musk is about to suspend every account with pronouns in their bio. I'm for that. <laughs> I find pronoun bio people some of the most obnoxious and insipid pieces of shit funny. You mean I don't have to deal with Zers? A major social media platform not indifferent to promoting democracy, but actively devoted to destroying it. That seems bad. What the hell do you think Twitter was before? If Twitter wasn't the most dis derisive, destructive, terrible platform in the last couple years, the comic book industry has suffered from it. The movie industry suffered from it. We got cancel culture because of Twitter. We're a bunch of, as I said before, literal vampire pot goblins run around 
and then try to ruin people's lives that accomplish something just because. Well, I think you're a bigot or a racist or a misogynist or problematic. You farted on a cripple kid once. You said something 10 years ago or 15, 20 years ago. Therefore, you're bad now. And these people are sitting here like that wasn't a problem. That's why celebrities don't really bother with Twitter. It's a sh Dear Elon Musk, Trump is a sexist, racist, homophobic, xenophobic, derisive, dangerous, pathological liar. Insurrection citing psychopath, traitor who will again use and abuse Twitter to subvert the rule of law and our democracy until he destroys it and becomes king. Your call. And if Trump doesn't become king, will you delete your account, Andy? Trump's gonna Trump's gonna take over and become king of America. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna have a monarchy again. I don't even like Trump. I don't. But you know what I can say about Trump supporters? They don't hound you like dogs. Like the left wing does. You don't like their people. They hate you forever. And like they spend their time trying to figure out how to destroy you. Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers talks about how great Trump is all the time. We don't see eye to eye on that. <laughs> Guess what? He has not tried to kill me or destroy me yet. But I'll be damned if a progressive hasn't tried multiple times. For this sin of not liking something they did. Ugh, screw this. We got to move on or I'll be here all day. Because it's nothing but blue check marks. Even Talcum X is here. It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Jamila Jamil quits Twitter after Elon Musk buys it. I don't even know who you are. Now this information I wouldn't even bother giving to you because I made a huge mistake and I confused her with the head of Twitter's safety board, Del Harvey. She's best known for playing Tasty Young Boy number two on To Catch a Predator. Because they're afraid that it's media. Del Harvey, her screen name, is a member of Perverted Justice, the online watchdog group dedicated to catching internet sex predators. I'm not joking. The head of Twitter's trust and safety board was a glorified extra. I guess knowing how to talk to pedophiles like a teenage boy gave her an inside edge on trolling tactics. My job at Twitter is to ensure user trust, protect user rights, and keep users safe, both from each other and, at times, from themselves. The sheer hubris. After the deal was finalized, things got really weird. The media began attacking Musk with all the swiftness of a cross-eyed pit viper named Gordon. MSNBC began to worry about disinformation. Like we literally didn't already have that going on with the laptop fiasco recently. Now, now it's an issue. And the big lie still loom large over the party, which has gone all in on disinformation to serve its political ends. And now news yesterday that Elon Musk, who seems to, at least at this point, possess more expansive views on speech than Twitter's current management has purchased Twitter that has sent shockwaves through much of the anti-disinformation political universe, which... Like Elon Musk, and people say, oh, I think Elon's thinking this or that. There's a bigger problem here about how we are going to control the channels of communication mm -hmm. in this country. It's this about Elon Musk, quote, Mr. Musk himself has had a rocky relationship with online speech. This year, he tried to quash a Twitter account that tracked his private jet citing personal and safety reasons. And he has gotten into trouble with regulators over his tweets. You own all of Twitter or Facebook or what have you. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't even have to be transparent. You could secretly ban one party's candidate or all of its candidates, all of its nominees, or you could just secretly turn down the reach of their stuff and turn up the reach of something else. And it's ironic. The rest of us might not even find out about it till after the election. At least be who you really are. Yeah, exactly. Right. But that's not really where the argument is. The argument to me is like, has Twitter failed in setting themselves up in the past as the judge of what can go out there? And I would say, yes, <clears throat> you have. You failed when you threw the New York Post off of Twitter for talking about Hunter Biden's emails. And it turned out that was a real story. Right. You failed when you said we couldn't read about whether... COVID had come from a lab. 
you failed. Did you read about this Babylon Bee? Do you know what the Babylon Bee is? I didn't know this. No. It's like the Christian version of the onion. (laughs) Because everyone needs that. Well, some people do. I thought that was not all you and me. Okay. So listen to this. They got flagged for they posted a funny video. This is funny to them. Okay. Sensitive content, Twitter said. In the video, they were making fun of Twitter for being too sensitive. <laughs> this is so through the looking glass. And here's what happens in the video. This woman who, going into the Twitter building, this is, you know, parody. This is what people do on television and have done forever. Okay, she's complaining to HR about how sensitive Twitter is. And the guy shows her an ink blot, and she keeps seeing Hitler in all the ink blots. <laughs> Okay, then she runs screaming out of the building because she's... This is, sat, this is right. well within what satire has always been. And the fact that they flagged this for being insensitive shows their complete lack of self-awareness about what their own problem is. If that's where the line is, you have failed, Twitter. Elon Musk says this is all to help people because he is just a free speech philosophically clear, open-minded helper. Who's running the science and technology in a democracy if the people don't know anything about it? And the second reason that I'm, I'm worried about this is that science is more than a body of knowledge. It's a way of thinking, a way of skeptically interrogating the universe with a fine understanding of human fallibility. If, if we are not able to ask skeptical questions, to interrogate those who tell us Mm -hmm. that something is true, to be skeptical of those in authority, then we're up for grabs for the next charlatan, political or religious who comes ambling along. Elon Musk can't insult Twitter. Every weird detail in Musk's $44 billion Twitter buyout deal that ensures both parties commit to the agreement. Frogs on Twitter started claiming he violated the agreement to owning Twitter by insulting employees. And here are the tweets of him insulting said employees. Look at him. The man is an absolute ghoul. Twitter lawyer Jim Baker. When general counsel of the FBI personally arranged to meet between the FBI and Michael Sussman in the meeting, Sussman presented fabricated evidence in the Alpha Bank matter. At Elon Musk. This is who is inside Twitter. He facilitated fraud. Elon Musk writes back, sounds pretty bad. I agree. Here's the other tweet where Elon Musk was being terrible to employees of Twitter. The top censor advocate at Twitter, who famously gaslit the world on Joe Rogan's podcast and censored the Hunter Biden laptop story, is very upset about Elon Musk's takeover. Elon Musk said this. Suspending the Twitter account of a major news organization for publishing a truthful story was obviously incredibly inappropriate. Now for you and me. This is all kind of like, oh really? Well, back to paying bills. Sort of moment, am I right? These two tweets do not seem like he's insulting anyone or inciting violence, but uh, that's not how Twitter works. For those who live on Twitter, This was Musk insulting employees and leading attacks on said employees. And I quote, Two days after Musk buying Twitter, he's using his megaphone to help target Twitter employees, prompting a barrage of attacks, including racist ones, from his fans. Twitter workers have reportedly asked management for protection from this scenario. Really, Queen? Elon Musk boosts criticism of Twitter executives promoting online attacks. The targets of employees by Musk's massive Twitter megaphone was a major concern for workers. As you've just seen, there seems to be a lot of hate towards Elon Musk. It seems like this dude deals with this on a daily basis. Hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of messages a day saying they want to kill him or he should die. And Musk is memeing the night away. A Twitter worker receives some nasty messages and all of a sudden, Musk is inviting violence. You see, it's okay long as it's not them with their feet to any sort of fire. Not that I'm saying it's right, but I'm just saying it's weird how it only matters when it's a certain side.
It's not about one particular thing. It's about a pattern and practice of violating and our rules. And you have a pattern and practice of banning only one faction of people. I don't agree Quillette with that. recently published an article where they looked at 22 high-profile bannings from 2015 and found 21 of them were only on one side of the cultural debate. Elon Musk saying this is bad on Twitter, I guess, is the equivalent of he hates people of color in a position of power. Vijaya Gad, I had no idea who she was because I don't live on Twitter or care. So here's Sagar explaining who she is and why she gets paid $16 million a year. Oriel was that she was, quote, very upset about the Elon Musk takeover and noted that she was the one responsible for censoring the Hunter Biden laptop story. Was it mean spirited? Kinda. But I have no sympathy for the people at the top of the censorship regime, and I admit some serious schadenfreude was going on. So I sent it and I moved on. Until my phone buzzed, and since then has basically not stopped buzzing. The blue tech technology press got very upset not just with me, but with Elon, and reverted to their favorite accusation, that Elon and I were apparently racist and sexist for targeting Vijaya Gade. The San Francisco correspondent for the Financial Times, Dave Lee, immediately said, moments after Elon Musk publicly criticized the work of Twitter policy exec Vijaya, her Twitter mentions are full of hateful tweets. Is this how he plans to run the company? It was retweeted thousands of times. Oh God, not hateful tweets. Oh no. <laughs> so Elon is responsible for what random people say because he and I highlight that she was part of one of the most shameful events in the company's history and behind one of the top reasons Elon bought the company in the first place. Tech press dean Kara Swisher jumped in, saying it was appalling to see Vijaya attack. She begged Jack Dorsey to come to her defense, decrying, quote, racist rants against her on Twitter. So let's say it. Racist tweets against Vijaya are obviously bad. But this is a Taylor Lorenz tried and true tactic. You are not allowed to criticize people, even if they are in immense positions of power, because people might be mean to them. Now, noticeably, of course, they're allowed to be mean to you. And when people are mean to you as a result of their criticism, then anything that you have to say is totally illegitimate. How about this? Let's be mean to each other. If there's fallout, so be it. Furthermore, this fits a pattern. If this were a normal Twitter employee making like a hundred grand, a 27 year old program or something, that's a fair enough response. But this woman was literally in charge of the most censorious action in Twitter history, from Hunter Biden laptops to making the call to take Trump off the platform. Furthermore, as you see before you, she received a 130% raise last year, bringing her total compensation to $16.9 million, up from the eight million she was paid in 2020. I got no sympathy for somebody who is a public figure and a multimillionaire getting crit criticized for purely policy reasons. FX and the New York Times announced Elon Musk's expose documentary. Hmm, right around the time he buys Twitter. Odd. The New York Times, freedom of speech has become a paramount concern of the techno moral universe. But freedom of speech in the 21st century means something very different than it did in the 18th century when the founding fathers enshrined it in the constitution. I can't read the article, they want me to pay. I'm not paying for this. I've seen people say more now than they ever dared to do on Twitter before Musk. Twitter's actually fun for the first time in ages. The memes, children, the memes must flow. Elon Musk acquiring Twitter will probably suck for women And in fact, on Twitter, it is predominantly straight white men. So when Elon Musk says, wow, this is about free speech, it seems to me that it's about free speech of straight white men. And so let them have it. Let them just go at it. I enjoy the block button on Twitter. Um, I think it has a real outsized influence in, in, in our world because politicians and celebrities are on it. Fine. You're saying that you look at Chris Cuomo. I feel like that's an oxymoron, a black Republican. About CNN I, I don't and how black Republicans can get leads. And I don't understand Latino Republicans. Well, or what's real or fair or true, you really don't care, girl, now do you? Human rights group, including the ACLU and Amnesty International, raised concerns about hate speech on Twitter and the power that Elon Musk, a self-described free speech absolutist, would have after his acquisition. You know what hate speech is now? Misgender someone on Twitter. That's hate speech. That's all it takes. Oh, yeah, you are, are you, do you pay your taxes? Yeah, you pay your taxes? We do. Yeah, we do. Guess what? How does it feel working for me because I live on hate? <laughs> 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 
hell I've gotten hit with hate speech on YouTube for making a joke about Carlos Maza. I said that he liked gender neutral Mr. Potato Head. That's all it takes. What is hate speech when they get to draw the line? It's whatever they choose it to be. Conservative Twitter accounts got a boost in followers after the Musk acquisition data shows. What? Oh no! Before I was skeptical of these boosts, till I noticed my own Twitter page began to get hundreds of followers in two days. Before Elon Musk, I was stuck at 83.4k followers. I couldn't go any higher. And I think that's because I requested verification on Twitter, but they didn't want to give it to me. You need to be at like 90k or 100k on YouTube on Twitter before you get verification. Update. Apparently, you don't need to be at 90k or whatever. That Star Wars girl got verified at 60k. So I sent in my verification again. Twitter authentication added me to tell me within minutes of me applying that I would not be getting verified. Before I could save the tweet and screen cap it, they immediately deleted it. In the ultimate dickish troll move. I hope Elon Musk takes over and he fires many of you. May you burn. <laughs> May your safe space never be safe again. You there. The Fialtis. May you be memed on forever. <laughs> but journalists... You could be a goddamn fart in the wind with a hundred followers as a journalist and still get verified. So what better way to keep me and people like me that you think are terrible human beings from getting verified than to cut off exposure to their Twitter account and throttle it. I'm going to thank Tyler for doing the work for me. God bless you, Tyler. I'm ready for bed. Definitely something bizarre happening with the Twitter algorithms impacting follower counts over the past 24 to 48 hours. Here's a few examples. Tucker Carlson. 62,000. Joe Rogan, 63,000 plus. Donald Trump Jr., 87,000 plus. Ted Cruz, 51,000 plus. By contrast, I guess that's Rachel Maddow, minus 18,000. Anderson Cooper, 10,000 and dropping. ALC, 30,000 and dropping. Camilla Harris, 22K. Hillary Clinton, negative 17K. What's going on? Data Racer also did me the solid of looking up blue check marks complaining about losing followers. Mark Hamill, weird. I just lost more than 8,000 followers in the last couple hours. Was it something I said? Down 300 now. Nah, I didn't think so. A bunch of us have lost followers. I lost 4,000 today. I think Twitter is doing a purge or something. Yeah, they're probably purging the bots. 2,000 as well. Yes, I lost about 50 followers. Is there a bot purge happening? And I've gained damn near a thousand. God bless you all. Thank you. I think you love me. You really love me. I'm down about the same, says Keith Oberman. Proportionately around 1800. Can't tell if it's dead bots or people afraid that Elon will find out they are following me. So that, it's got to be a joke because who cares who follows Keith Oberman? The, anyone is following Keith Overman? Probably not very interesting at all. Like, if you went to a party with them, they'd suck the life out of the room and tell you what a bigot you were. And they probably virtue signal that they've been vaccinated like six times. Wow, what a cool dude or dudette. Apparently, I'm not the only one noticing this. I'm 200 followers down. As you can see, it's a trend of blue check marks. A lot of these people, I don't know who they are, don't care. And the ones that I do know who they are, I'm surprised they had followers in the first place. It's clear as day that Twitter was biased as hell towards those that they considered left-leaning accounts. Oh, by the way, they also unbanned a lot of accounts. Geeks and Gamers got his account back. And you can't tell me, oh, hundreds of thousands of left-leaning users abandoned Twitter. Come on now, Alyssa Milano is still on this site. Talco Max only quit for a day. These people that are addicted to Twitter aren't leaving. Their whole lives are Twitter. I mean, literally, Twitter only really rewards you if you're a psychotic liberal. And notice how I chose the word psychotic. There are normal liberals. And then there are the pizza pronoun liberals. And the men can give birth through their penis liberals. And the I don't know what a woman is progressives. I'm not a biologist. I got news for you. If you can define what a woman is, 
You're a bigot. I hear you're a racist now, Father. <laughs> what? What? How did you get interested in that type of thing? The Biden administration, out of nowhere, calls for reforms on Section 230. Decision made by Twitter, we've... we've Go ahead. Thanks, Jen. Uh, does the White House have any reaction to Facebook's decision to suspend President Trump for two years? Was this uh, a reasonable consequence for what he said? Well, uh, as always, it's a decision for the company to make and any platform to make, and clearly they've come out and made their decision. It's a decision by a private sector company. We'll see what their evaluation is a couple of years from now. And Just a quick one on the, the breaking news, Twitter agreeing to let Elon Musk uh, purchase, make this, go through this purchase. Uh, do you have a response to that? And does the White House have any concern that this new agreement might have President Trump back on the platform? Well, I'm not going to comment on a specific transaction. Uh, what I can tell you as a general matter, no matter who owns or runs uh, Twitter, uh, the president has long been concerned about the power of large social media platforms, uh, what they ha the power they have over our everyday lives, has long argued that tech platforms must be held accountable for the harms they cause. Uh, he's been a strong supporter of fundamental re reforms to achieve that goal, including reforms to Section 230, enacting antitrust reforms, requiring more transparency. Uh, I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. They went from, ha ha, Twitter's a private company when Donald Trump got banned to, we need reform as soon as it fell in Elon's hands. If Oprah Winfrey came up and bought Twitter, Biden's administration wouldn't blink an eye. Did I mention that Bloomberg Technology stepped in with an interview from Brianna Wu? I'm not joking. With the quote title, Brianna Rue survived Gamergate trolls. <laughs> if you could give Elon Musk some advice, what would it be? I had to stop the video here, honest to God, and re-edit this because I had listened to it. You literally just asked a person whose entire career is being a professional locale online what advice they'd give to Elon Musk, the man who made himself the richest person alive. <laughs> what are you going to do for your next trick? Ask DSP how to give Michael Jordan advice on how to do a jump shot. <laughs> like, what? If you ever needed more proof that journalism today is a joke, this is it. Brianna Wu, who attached themselves to the Gamergate fiasco like a tick in order to gain their now sad level of fame and notoriety as a professional victim that somehow graciously dubbed game developer, but put out one shitty game no one cares about and can scarcely remember. The same person who exposed herself on Steam's message boards by trying to pretend to be a hater to drum up more nasty comments to use and go, see, people are harassing me, I was sent these, and still gets interviewed for something, like genuinely. How in the name of God are you a journalist and you could literally look up Brianna Wu's goofy sh** and sit there and go, we're not going to interview this person. They're a goddamn flim flam artist. Gamergate. Brianna Wu makes green light thread harassing herself then deletes it when she realizes she was still logged in as a developer. There's a person we need to talk to us about trust and safety and honesty. Being a victim in America should have its own credit card. American repressed. And they could use Brianna Wu as the poster child. Let's end on a high note. Elon Musk has been memeing all over Twitter and it's just fantastic. It's making the blue check marks and I quote triggered with his humor, which we all know laughing is a tool of the alt-right. Well, here's Elon Musk ratioing AOC, who ironically owns one of his cars. So thanks for helping him buy Twitter, AOC. Tired of having to collectively stress about what expulsion of hate crimes is happening because some billionaire with an ego problem unilaterally controls a massive communication platform and skews it because Tucker Carlson and Peter Thiel took him to dinner and made him feel special. Elon Musk comes back with, stop hitting on me, I'm shy. I was talking about Zuckerberg, but okay. By the way, ALC deleted her reply because everybody knew who she was talking about, but taking L's for her is pretty standard fare outside of her virtue signaling echo chamber. And that ought to do it. This video probably could have been longer, which I didn't want it to be. And I will admit I tried to speed through this because it's going to take days to edit. Uh, thank you if you made it this far. 
Oh, my throat is dry from reading all of this garbage. I know I missed some things. I'm sorry. I need water. Epilogue. Musk's $44 billion Twitter buyout is challenged by shareholders in a lawsuit and a couple other entities that don't want to give up the stranglehold of control that they have over Twitter, enabling them to sway public opinion and view. So that basically means this isn't over. It's going to be a fight, and there might be a third video of this. My life. I feel 